Hello, Arizona. Wow, thank you all for being here. Karen and I are just thrilled to be with you today. Now less than 100 days from a great victory for the people of the United States when we elect Donald Trump as the next president of the United States of America. You know, it was just a couple short weeks ago that um, I got a phone call. It's late at night on a Wednesday night. My wife and I had thought through it, prayed through it, and I, uh, I said yes, that I would be willing to run and serve as the next Vice President of the United States of America. And I got to tell you, I, I said yes in a heartbeat, because you have nominated a man who never quits, who never backs down. He's a fighter, he's a winner, and up until very recently, it seems like he's been out there doing it all on his own, but now we are united, we are come together, and we are gonna make Donald Trump the 45th President of the United States, and we will make America great again. You know, it is pretty amazing. You look at what they're offering on the other side. At the very moment when it seems that all of America is crying out for something new and different, the other party has answered with a stale agenda, tweaks of the failed policies of the last seven and a half years, and the most predictable of names. You know, people in both parties are restless for change. We're ready to break free from the tired patterns in Washington, D.C., and Democrats just anointed someone who represents everything this country is tired of. So let's just decide right here and now in Tucson, Arizona, that Hillary Clinton will never become president of the United States of America. 